I think video is video, and I think that's what the marketplace is realizing. And that's why I said it's kind of a rolling front now. It's not a new front or an up front or an in front. It's a rolling front. The cable nets have always done their new front present or up front presentations over a period of a few months because there's so many of them. Historically, the, um, the networks did theirs in May and they continue to, but historically, I don't know people really understand why the concept of upfronts were originally launched. The reason upfronts were originally launched was back in the day, and people might also wonder why new shows were always introduced in September as opposed to January. Why wouldn't you introduce a new season at the beginning of a year as opposed to in the fall season? It really had to do with the auto money. If you think back, auto manufacturers used to issue their new cars in September. And that's where all the money was going to be spent, to advertise the new cars from Chevrolet or Ford or Pontiac or whoever it might be, and Chrysler, etc. And so the networks launched their new shows on the back of where the money would be. And the idea of an upfront was around a supply and demand curve, because there was a limited amount of inventory available on primetime television. The digital space, of course, whilst it doesn't offer unlimited inventory, it offers a larger a larger palette, if you will. And so the idea of an upfront market is kind of foreign to a digital online world, but it really isn't foreign to marketers who are looking to get an advantage by throwing their money down first against content. And so if we just take apart the platforms, whether it be cable, online, conventional television, and think of video, you want to make a bet on video, sometimes you're going to get a better price and a better position if you do it up front. And that's really at the heart of what's going on here. What's important, however, and I think what we'll see over the next few weeks is, as I mentioned in my remarks welcoming everybody to kick off the week, there are going to be large deals that are going to be announced this year. So I think we're going to see the movement from a show place or a showcase to a marketplace where transactions will be done in more of an upfront way. So I, there's a lot of excitement and a lot of buzz on the street of New York, on the streets of New York over the next two weeks. And I think it's going to reverberate as we get ready, Andy, for something I know you're focused on, which is uh, shockingly and frighteningly less than six weeks away, the Can Lions. So this is arguably one of the early steps on the road to Cannes.